We are back with episode two of Comic Laboratory. Currently working on this frame here, which we got the base um, sketch. We're just going to work with what we got already. So I'm going to go in and just fix all the lines using the handles like we learned to adjust things as we need to. And you can add little dots to get things the shape that you want. Cut some corners by being and pasting assets. You change the size a little bit to give it a little bit of depth, a little more. So it's kind of facing this way. Uh, most lines, if they're not good, you can just go ahead and delete them. Just redraw inner lines. This one goes down like this. Just connect like a bump right there. And I got the thickness set differently, so I'm going to have to set up the diff um, thickness of the lines again by going here. Or actually, no, you just click on a already pre-established line. Double click the pen soul tool and then take from selection. And then to match that, we just copy and paste that value into this space here. <clears throat> Fix the lines up again. I really want to contour this part. I'm actually going to redraw this. I got to see how I want that part of the head to be shaped. I want it to go down like that. Yeah, that's pretty good, but this part here needs to go in like this just a little bit, kind of forming this shape here. And this part of the cheek will be coming on this side. We'll add a node here so that when we curve, it'll start to curve from that little spot there. I'm gonna lower this one. Make them a little bit cheekier. That's good, okay, that's 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 good. I like that line. A nose. I'm gonna bring it in, and I always the, the nose I've been drawing it differently in a lot of the iterations that I've drawn this character. For the most part, it's a rounded triangle. I actually like the way that kind of dipped right there. I'm gonna do that right here, close to the eyes, and then I'm gonna draw a shape like this. No, you know what? Maybe more like that. We're just do like that. That's fine. Now we're gonna adjust these points down here, lining them up, just like that. Good. This cheek is way too wonky. Double click so it doesn't move the other one. Make it a little horizontal line. That works. These lines up here, mm, probably best to redo some of these because it's kind of hard to visualize what it would look like for me right now. But it would go something kind of like that, where the ears are, for the most part, going to get cut off. Like this. We'll draw this other side of the ear going down, and then kind of the back of the head, and then the beginning of the other ear. Make the ear the side, and then Push it off this way. Mm. It's like 
this way more. This way and then this way. That's a weird angle, but we're going to keep it kind of like that and adjust it just so it kind of conforms more to the roundness of the head. Like this. Uh, I'm going to delete this one at another point just so it's clean. We can adjust it a little bit cleaner. And with this line, I'm going to shorten it because that's popping out a little too much, I think. Like this. And I'm still not too sure about that, actually, but I think this will work. That'll work. I'm going to redraw uh, these assets right here. I'm saying assets, by the way. Some of you probably heard something else there. <laughs> I'm going to redraw these assets. 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 Acid. Acid. Okay. Um, I'm going to draw this ghetto a little bit differently. We're just going to have teeth. I usually don't draw teeth on him. Wait, is that true? Yeah, he usually doesn't have those little fangs. It's usually one buck tooth. For this one, it's going to be a special drawing. And usually the mouth, if it's open, it'll originate from this cheek, not this cheek. Like I've done it like this before, and it's just too big. But if you do it here and kind of give them a sort of a lemon-shaped poggers type mouth, just give them the poggers mouth pretty much. And uh, yeah, I'm going to make it go behind the tooth slightly. Like that. I guess, yeah, because we're going to have the bug tooth still. Oh, bug tooth or fangs. You know what? I'm going, I'm going bug tooth. So we draw the pogger's mouth. Bucky toothy. Yeah, <laughs> that looks cool. All right, now to spend five minutes doing this. Hello, my name is Getter. <sighs> that looks good. Bring it back this way, maybe. So that it gives it a curve. Too open. <laughs> no, that actually is pretty good. Let's keep it like that. Okay. So now we do the bottom of the lip. How should it connect, though? I think, yeah, just doing a little strip. Here, let's not do the bottom lip. Let's just do this for bottom lip. And then draw like the side of the head which is going to be kind of like this and then let's give him like a a chin yeah there you go <laughs> that works is this canon Right about there. And actually, I'm gonna add a point here so I can curve this out like that, and then put that there. Mm -hmm. Let's go back to how it was. Back to how it was, but uh, so here and just more angled down like this. There you go. That looks that looks pretty funny. All right, so then we draw a bridge of the glasses. Draw that going that way, curving a little bit, and this one curving a little bit. 
Uh, try to line it up a little bit better with the other ones. That's fine. Oh, it's bleeding all over this page. Does you notice little mistakes like this? I just go in and fix them real quick. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. That's two. That's why it's messing up. Roller coaster of love. Roller coaster. Ooh 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 ooh. Roller coaster. There's actually an easier fix for this. Instead of moving all those nodes, you can just uh, get it all in frame. Delete the previous one and then fill it again. That usually does the trick. It's got a blue stroke on it. Let's take that off. Fill. Nope. You click on it, send it to the back, and then bring it up two spots. There you go. See, that fixes it. A little better. It's actually a lot easier to fix. See, so guys, like, I'm learning the program just like you are. I have no idea how to use this. But here I am. Let's do it with all these. I like my work to be semi clean. I don't like my work to be perfect, but I do like semi clean where you look at it and go, no flaws here. Or maybe some flaws, but you know, we, we ignore them. Awesome. And then match this color again. Send it to the back, bring it up to. And again, that's to send it to the back, it's end. And to bring it up, a uh, single layer is page up. Layer down is page two. Okay. Let's keep drawing this one. So we got the cat head. Done. Draw it neck. This is the first one where he's going to have like a... Now, you know what? That looks weird. Draw a slight thing like this and then down. Just color. Roller coaster. Okay, that's completely different. <laughs> um, that's fine. It's a weird frame anyway. No, you know what? This one's got it him like almost like a balloon head. No, yeah, that's fine. It's... <laughs> I'm not going to lie, this is a weird panel. There you go. Okay, so next we're going to draw the frog, this time with a little bit more detail, but it's only going to be from... Like mid body, maybe up. I don't know. We'll see as I draw it. Maybe it's gonna be like at an angle. Like so. Nice that came together pretty smooth. Wrong shape here, though. It's got to be more like that. Yeah, he's going to have kind of a down 
like a you're looking up at him slightly. If we draw the group of shells. I'm actually going to draw the other group of shell like this. And break the note there. Delete that. Delete that. Bring this over. Actually, bring this over. Like that. Let me draw the rim, as you'd call it, of the turtle shell. <clears throat> okay. So, and then we draw the basic outline of the shield. This part is going to be mostly shield. But yeah, should draw his sword like coming up this way. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. I'm going to draw the sword facing this way. Like this. And then draw like lines coming off like this. And then draw like clank, clank, like he's beating the shield with the sword. Sort of like a intimidation. Who goes there? I still don't know what he would talk like. Okay, so then we draw. I actually learned the hilt of the sword is the handle. And this is just a guard or hand guard. All the other names for it, but I'll go with hand guard. So then we get the uh, orientation of his hand. Um, goes over the top. This one's got to go this way. And go this way and you stop at the line of the sword. And then you draw your thumb. There's the line. And this one goes like that, maybe. Yeah. Just draw a line and then bring it up to where you want it. Go back on this. Okay. Um, how much time we're at? 18 minutes. Put a 20 minute timer, so we only go for like 40 minutes. Close the thing like this. I like that pose, that's really cool. Arm coming down like that. Let's get a little bit of a curve in this. Yeah. Of love. Roller coaster. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Can anybody guess what song is stuck in my head right now? <laughs> oh, in this part. 
be a sort of thing like that. And center that a little bit. Come in and close this off a little bit like this. And then part of the leg. Yeah, that's sick. Okay, that works. It's just such a good design, like, can't stop fangirling over it. Okay. Oh yeah, we should do the original eyes on this one. So the original eyes, they're like circles with little lines in them, so let me pull it up again. <laughs> Uh, here we go. Oh, you know what I forgot? There's two. I'm going to skip it there, but I'm going to add it on this one. There's two like spots above on the head like this. That I don't want to exclude from the close-up. Roller coaster. Do, 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 do. Okay, on this one, let me just zoom in real quick and see what they're like. Okay, yeah, this one, it's like angled down a little bit. Almost like. Oops. Easy. Yeah, I'm going to try to do somewhat of a redraw. That's so cool. Yeah, I'm going to bring this part up like that and then draw a slight. It's like a annoyed or it's not concerned. Like a who this, who this punk coming on my land? Draw some lines going like this. And then, We'll fill all that in, the color and stuff, so we can uh, add the text. So then I'm going to do one of my signature moves and add an aura. This aura just kind of indicates that these two have a locked glance and are prepared to fight if need be. So it's like a nature. <laughs> so in this one, we're going to do a very modest, we're going to do a modest meow. On that was, that was on the spot, guys. A modest meow. On the like button. Hit that subscribe button. Uh, about a bell hit that bell uh, uh, that was really bad we draw that you do <laughs> Hurry up and draw. You stupid fucking man. <laughs> <laughs> and this one's going to be like Ribbit. Wait, is.
is Ribbit spelled R I B B I T. All right, just making sure. Just making sure. That's it. A mouse pad that's making like up and down movement really janky. I'm just gonna go ahead and edit it because I'm spending way too many times trying to do this B. And you know I'm gonna copy and paste the B. You know it. Roller coaster. And you're thinking, but, 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 but. Why don't you just use the text? Use the text tool. Yeah, you could. Use the text tool, get clean text. That's not my style, yo. Okay. 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 My mouse is going crazy taxi. Are you ready to make some dough? You guys remember that arcade machine? Crazy taxi. Okay, so we're getting to the near. We're nearing the end here. You know what? I'll just fix that. Because that doesn't look too half bad. Roller coaster. Every time there's a lull, I'm just gonna sing roller coaster of love. Ooh 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 roller coaster. Do 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 an exclamation point and a question mark. It's an indication of surprise and confusion. So, surprise, confusion. I accidentally shifted the panel. Line it up to this. Make sure this is going to end up. Yep. We're good. So now that we're done with that, let's add a slight background element. I think you need some counseling. <laughs> Sorry, I was thinking about something <laughs> out of context. That sounds kind of weird. Okay. Finish those lines. I'm adding clouds, but that might muddle this up a little too much. I'm digging how that looks. Now we just add le tongue. Yeah. Since 
He's technically saying something. I'm gonna just slightly open the mouth like this. It's like he's like side lipping it. Like, what is this MF we're doing on my planet? Technically, this is back in time. This is like the Middle Ages. Wait a minute. This is a real dilemma. Should I put it inside of the mouth? My first thought was like a really long tongue. I'm just going to do a pink bump like that. Get the contour of the tongue like that. No teeth? That's a good Google question. Do frogs have teeth? Frog experts. You know where the comment section is? Do the cheek right there. This is for the guy. Does he have eyebrows? That's rough. I don't like this. I. And this one's straight, almost like he's like. Duffa, Duffa, Duffa. That's the face I'm going for, a Duffa. I'm going to give him a Duffa face. Duffa? All right, we can work on that a little bit, but. Oh, yeah, let's do this. Now let's fill it in and then we'll do that in because I might want to do some detail on it. Well, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, do that. Um, click, click, click. Click, 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 and Jiminy Glick. Um, this is going to be a sort of wood panel effect. And yeah, we'll fix these um, correctly. Bevel. It's my favorite word. Okay. Let's get to painting. We zoom in so we don't lose any space. Fill this part in. And wait a minute. And years. Okay. Like I was saying, fill that in and fill that in. Shift click on that one so these two become singular. Copy that color. Oh, it didn't work. Well, it's fine. Those two, bring them to the bottom. I mean, that's oh, so cool. I'll tell you this. You will not regret learning this skill. It is so much fun. Well, 
lighter. Yeah, that's a good shade there. It's a little more orange and darker. Red. There you go. So cool. Hmm. This shade a little darker up on that inner back a tiny bit. No, 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 darker. This one, pretty much just this shade. A little tanner. A little thinner. Oh. And the ground. Okay. Tan. Let's just copy the ground from over here because I really like this color. No, it's not showing up kind of quite like I'm wanting to. I gotta adjust it. Like when I zoom in and out, it messes with my head where I can't tell if the shade is different. So there's the background. I'm just going to color this space in here. Yellow. No, you know what? Let's break it in half. With some lines. Make this part yellow. And these parts orange and red, respectively. Send this back. What happened there? That was a bit odd. But messed up the thickness of the lines a little bit. Yeah, yeah, that, that's pretty sick. Okay. <laughs> fill these in, fill that in. This space down here. And go ahead and do that space down there. That one, that one, and the top part, send it to the back, bring it back up. Lighten this one a little bit. Green, green. Send these to the back. Nose. What's the hockey for this? You? Okay. I'll start using that. Okay, that's the timer. We got so far. Pretty cool. Good progress. We'll come back to that on our next episode. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more progress.